we get it in tight over there, it yeah. might, might be all right. Okay. Hold yep. on. This will show us exactly. Yeah, it might possibly, Jeff. Okay, here we are. This is right, this is right now. Where are we? See, it's coming this way, <laughs> right here. Bait yeah. thief. Are these mediums at Abdens or? Yeah. yeah. Water level is down like freaking three feet from that high water mark. Oh, it's brutal. Do you want any water with those fish? You think they require it? <laughs> Just see what we have for depth right there, hon. How's it looking, Liv? Great, that's a great. Well, how much you got? That's what she's got for five feet. Five feet for depth? Just about five. Four or five feet, Liv? Five, yep. Good morning. We are setting up our second trap. We're out here with my dad and Jeff today. <laughs> if you guys have watched a lot of our other fishing videos, they're kind of our our little fishing uh, group. So we're out here, we'll have 20 fat uh, traps to fish and 20, 20 we're fat? going after rainbows, browns, rookies, not pickerel. No, pickerel. <laughs> not pickerel. So yeah, we will see if we can make something happen. Right now it's beautiful out. It is literally 32 degrees, not a breath of wind at the moment. It is gonna pick up this afternoon at some point. We'll see how long we can hang in there. I wish it would stay like this all day. That is my wish. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're getting getting set up here, got our traps in. Liz is gonna sound this hole. Boom. So we use the sounder to help us figure out what the depth is. I know most of you probably know this, but for those of you that don't, this is just a little, you know, put down the weight, hits the bottom. Boom, that's the depth we're working with right there. So three feet. Three, three and a half feet. Then we take from the top of the trap where it sits on the ice down to the reel and then we reel it up to wherever we want it to sit in the water column yeah so that's why we use the sounders they're helpful pretty imperative to uh use them if you want to know exactly where you're fishing off bottom halfway top whatever dreaming of open water canoeing up north <laughs> what do you have for water very little really like a foot and a half, two feet. Oh, that's good though. We can that's fish a, that. We'll fish it. We'll fish it. I might move it later, but we've, we've caught we've, we've gotten into them in less. Yeah, we've caught trout in a foot and a half of water before. It kind of just depends. I've seen them along the shoreline, early ice, like right when the shoreline starts to get the clear ice with no snow. I've seen them like right along the shoreline, just hugging that edge. This guy's gonna try to beat me to my spot. Freaking jerk. You try to take my spot. Don't crowd me. <laughs> All right, so I just lost my sunglasses down the hole. They were clipped on here like an idiot. Well, you guys saw that they fell off <clears throat> when we were drilling that other hole. Yep. And Chris is acting like he's surprised. Right down the hole, 120 bucks gone. Anyone want some Oakleys? Yeah, if you, yeah, yeah anybody. Anyone's in, into diving or anything like that. Well, it's not that deep. You should be able to see. Hopefully. Oh, really? Well, there's know. some nice Oakleys right here. It's not like it's 20 feet of water. It's only like, what, six, maybe? Maybe I can get it. Stay tuned for that. But it's actually really nice. It's so nice. It's like Florida out here. Well, first vlog of the day, oh. through some weeds. <laughs> oh, I got one up there too. Oh, that's not what we want to see. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't a friggin' harbinger. Our guys are just out here checking our traps. If you see here, you see this sandy, rocky bottom. That's kind of what we're after. Notoriously in the past, good trout spot. Hasn't been too hot this morning, but... 
So right now I'm walking out to meet Chris. He's drilling a couple holes out deeper. And just past that, there are some eagles that are feeding on some kind of carcass. I haven't looked into it yet, but I'm gonna put the GoPro on it and see if we can, you know, catch them in action. That will be pretty cool. See what they're up to. Hey guys, Liv popping in. Chris and I had agreed that we would give you fair warning for the upcoming clip. We came across a deer carcass on the ice that had really recently been attacked and taken down by some coyotes. So we videoed that, we explained kind of what's going on. So, you know, there is a deer carcass and if you're not interested in seeing that, definitely skip ahead. I'll link the time uh, right here on the screen. Skip ahead to this time in the video and you won't miss anything else. You'll just miss this graphic content, but if you are interested interested in seeing it, definitely hang around. We thought it was really cool, cool enough to share it with you guys. Um, and if you've made it this far in the video, feel free to subscribe if you're enjoying it. It would help us out. We would so appreciate it. We appreciate all of you guys. So skip ahead. I'll give you a second and we'll see you at this time. Let's get into it. Okay, this is some amazing morning of, of a coyote attack on a deer. They came in off the shoreline here, and then you can see the first bite looks like it got taken right there. You can see some blood. The tracks out here lives out there. You can see the carcass and the scene that's over here. You can see the deer starting to run here. Poor little guy, it's a little buck. Another bite was taken right here. The, this looks, is the first blood it looks like. Blood was back there, but um, yeah. looks like the coyote skid came right, right here on the deer track and took a bite. And then this is the scene we got here. So this poor guy must have happened last night. It's super. super it's very fresh. fresh. I mean, there's. And how we know it's a buck, obviously, is yep. you come over here, Chris, you can really see. I can tell it's a little buck. Oh yeah, a little buck. Yep, so he didn't make it this year. Poor guy, I mean the... But you, yep. It's gonna be a meal for some something else. We came yep. over because there were eagles over here, so we wanted to investigate, and this is uh, what they got into. So, yep. sorry if it's a little graphic, but that's just nature. Yep, all right. This is the rest of the scene. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Nature's brutal, but First try of the day here, folks. Uh, oh, you just good. jinxed Shake yourself. Yes. Yes. <gasps> oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Nice That's nice. a nice one. Ooh. Nice. Thank there God. Go. I'm deleting. Oh, oh Jeffrey. Broke the hook. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> That's a humdinger hook too. Oh, All right. Dingers. A humdinger. Are you gonna keep that one, Chris? Yeah, Maybe we'll eat. Oh, she'll eat. Okay, she'll yeah. love that. Definitely. Yeah. I can't see. My Fifteen eyes. and a half. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's nice awesome. Fish. Yeah, not my best uh, measuring tape, but that's a good fish. At least you get to hold the fish today, even if it's not yours. <laughs> or a huge brown. Whoa! Whoa! It's tipping your trap. Did you get that on camera. That was a good run. Whoa! It's going. It's going. Got him. Whatever it is. Ooh, got some weight to it, whatever it is. Be something Ooh, good. This one's shaking. Yeah, baby! <laughs> oh. Yeah, baby. Good job. Thank you. You want me to get him? Maybe I can do it without breaking a hook this time. Are you trying to save his life? Oh, it's right on the end of his mouth. Yeah, that's Last year was seemed like every weekend was brutal with weather, and we maintained that trend this weekend. 
But right so. now, if you just like can appreciate how calm it is, it's all super cold. It's like 32, 34, 34 like yeah. No glove weather. Yeah. Oh, 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 we got a flag. Oh, we got a flag. Right there. Flag on Let's the go. intro. Cross your fingers for no pickerel. Let's go. You say it looks trouty? Yep. Oh, just hit. Little tap. Tap, tap. Hopefully he comes back later. Good sign, folks. Usually the trout tend to play with the bait. They'll come up, they'll just kind of nip at it, spit it out, keep playing with it. Well, I call them game fish sometimes, you know, play games with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, better. Mm -hmm. Not me. I'll just bring it. Wow. <laughs> Right into the tree, probably. Folks. Coming right up. This one's in about two and a half feet of water. It set the hook for me, I think. There you go. Yep. There it is. Oh. Is it shaking? Oh. Nice. Pickerel number. Oh. That's a good one, honey. Thank you. Proud of you. Big, Jeff. Big. Big. Huge. Come on, giant. Get Does it let it spool me first? Or? Well, Bruce is my. He'll wind it up for me. <laughs> he's saying he's big. He's taking it right off the frozen reel. Don't muff it. Oh, I did. Oh. I did. Did you actually? I did actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that was a trout. Yeah. That was a I big brown. Was you just keep winding my reel. <laughs> I'd rather not even get a flag than do that. Ow. <laughs> Just finished playing some cards or not we but i lost so i'm gonna go and check some traps we've had quite a dead spell i don't know the past 45 minutes or whatever no flags so at this time definitely go out check bait move things around drop them down pull them up a little bit and see if that can get the fish moving Bait's doing good, he's happy, so that's great. If the bait wasn't, you know, moving around and lively, I'd change it out, but that's not the case on this one. So I just went to pick this guy up and he's twisted all around the weight and whatnot, so this is why we check him. Because at this point, you're not even really fishing this hole. Found the wind. There was one other trap that was kind of messed up. Here's the wind. Dad's flag. We're breaking the slow spell. Oh, he just said he didn't care if it was a pickerel. Those could be fighting words. We all just moved our traps around, not moved them, but checked our bait, moved our reels up and down. They call them pike for anyone that doesn't know. <laughs> it's got a little beef to it. Does it? That's what we like. How's it feel, Bruce? Not much. It's coming right with it. Uh, there oh, it is. No. Oh. The tug oh. is the drug. <laughs> Hey, that one's pretty good size. So that pot is, I'm happy with it. <laughs> Congrats. First fish of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Got a runner. This is the um, the trap that I adjusted that was all tangled. Liv's first flag of the day. Welcome to ice fishing. Better late than never if she pulls a nice rainbow out of here. Oh, he's on there. Oh, it's got weight. Come on, rainbow. Oh. Please. Man, he, he Holy, it. look at that oh. line. This one up too. It's hard to get up for long. Here's the mono. It's bass. a bass. <laughs> oh, baby. Nice. Yeah, something different anyways. Yeah. <laughs> nice fish. That counts for something anyways. Yeah. Maybe something biting, maybe. Maybe he'll just start turning on here. Maybe. Woo! Woo! Here we go, Liv is on the board. On the board. We're all walking over to the trap that Chris dropped his sunglasses down. We are just setting up. It's the first time that that flag has gone up. Maybe it's a pickerel wearing sunglasses. You never know. Yeah, I can feel it. Oh, 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 we got movement. Ooh. Whoa, looks like a, geez, something. Big brown. Yeah. Oh, I'd die. Ooh. I would die if it was a nice freaking trout. Little shake. Like a oh, it uh, looks like a pickerel. What the heck? I'm glad their population is thriving. I'm happy for them. And you didn't even get your sunglasses. Chris's flag is up. Got him. Oh, came at me. Shake it up. Come on. 
<gasps> nice. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's cool. a beauty. Yes. That's a pretty Good one. job. That is a nice one there. That's oh. a pretty one. Woo. Nice Good brookie. job. Second one of the day. Yeah. Let him go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, yeah. Woo. Now we gotta try to catch the most expensive thing of the day. Chris's sunglasses from like 7.30 this morning. The plan is gonna be to tie on this big circle hook that we use for like pike fishing. We've got the underwater yeah. camera that so hopefully we can see it down there at least. We'll try to navigate and see if we can get them. Fishing for Oakleys. Fishing for Oakleys. This company, Yo-Yo, was generous enough to reach out to us, send us this underwater camera and ask us to try it out and let them know what we think. And this little device is responsible for helping us recover Chris's Oakleys from under the ice. So here's a little bit more about the camera. Definitely stay tuned and watch how we did it. Pretty impressive. Recovery mode. Yeah. Far from the hole, leave it. Oh. oh, no. Because they're not deep. It's not deep enough to, for them to get too far. <gasps> the oh, there they are. Oh, they are. oh, my God. Folks, there they are. <laughs> but do we need to drill another hole? How far um, the center are they? No, they're right in the they're center of the right hole. Right there. All right, we got the sunglasses retrieval going on here. We're about to retrieve some nice Oakleys. We're really right there. Yeah. Still in recovery mode here. Working on it. We've at least got our eyes on the sunglasses underneath. So we know they're not gone forever. We just have to find a way to get them. Dad's going to get a, a treble hook lure that I have in my tackle box and we'll see what we can do with that. We're dancing all oh. around it. Oh, regroup here. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> oh, we got movement. Oh, okay, he's got them. Oh, are they? Oh my God. Is he going to get them? Oh, they're not moving. Off. You must have dropped it fell them. fell off, but it's right on the <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but at least it's in yeah. the middle now, yeah. you know. Oh, there we go. Yes. Got what? It. You have it? I don't yep. think you have it. I do. Why do you feel like you have it? I don't know, because I thought it was under it. I think it just fell off the top of it. It did? Be careful if you think Um. You... Yeah, got you got it. him. Hold, hold it, right? Okay. Hold it. Yeah. Here we go, folks. The retrieval. Oh, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at this nice. first pair. <laughs> nice. That's how you clean them, folks. That is impressive. The moose like wobbler. <laughs> moose like wobbler. Wow. That's good. That's wobble. awesome. Oh. Good team effort there. Glasses came up with that. I got yeah. it hooked on that thing, yeah. Yo-yo, oh, you underwater wobble. camera. Well, I, 10 out of 10 review. Like right yeah. We have, I've yeah, dropped so my jig rod and my glasses this year and we retrieved them. And then he got dropped, on, dropped it right on top of it. With this long yeah. thing here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I didn't drop it on purpose. Perfect. Right, right. It fell off. So you can see what you're doing, and then you can also hook stuff. I know that's not the intention of this, but boy. It works. Go get them, Dad. Woohoo. Rainbow rock, baby. This could make the day if you don't muff it. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to muff it. He is headed, oh, he's headed to Jeff's. I better get him. Headed west? You got it? What is it? What is it? What do you think? Oh, oh no. Oh, that's pretty nice a, one. Pretty nice. Woohoo! <laughs> that's a nice one. Thank you. Thank big you. money. Big money. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you very much. That is awesome. Congrats. Thanks. Proud of you. Very happy. So we're starting to pick up. It's about three o'clock and it's been dead for a little while besides that pickerel that dad just caught. So yeah, we'll make our way around. Chris and I usually divide and conquer. I go in one direction, he goes in the other and just makes it a little faster. So we'll do that, break the shack down and we'll be uh, on our way here. That little camera right here, Jeff. Uh, oh, <laughs> I pick it up. I'm trying to pick up. You just 
trying to help. We are struggling. I'd make you fall if I needed you to fall. Just like that. He's a good backer upper. Speed and agility. <laughs> <laughs> 